Um, I'm Nicole De Silva and I play Frankie Doyle. I love playing uh, Frankie's bravado and I love her, the way she approaches the world with that. I think it's endlessly interesting because um, you never quite know what's underneath. So Frankie um, define, tries to define herself through you know, her tattoos and the points of difference in her hair and, and the, the clothes, particularly the underwear she chooses to wear. She likes to make a statement. Um, you know, this, this was an invention that came about through the producer's ideas of Frankie, the writer's ideas. Um, I had a great time in wardrobe figuring out how Frankie would, you know, make herself seen in a prison uniform. I think ultimately Frankie um, is on a quest to feel loved and to feel powerful. So I think often that's what's driving, you know, her quest for top dog or her thirst for power. Um, it definitely comes from a place of needing to be in control because as a young kid she didn't have any of that. Certainly Frankie is the only gay character in Wentworth that we see and that at this point in time we have contact with. But I think generally speaking, you know, it, at least I assume that there are other characters, um, you know, who may be gay or, or, or what are referenced as gay gays who come into the prison and then, for, prison and then form intimate relationships with other women um, as a way to connect with people. So certainly there's a whole reality and world going on beyond you know just the few characters that you see yeah there are definitely moments in season two where Frankie does feel vulnerable I think she's you know in a position where she has to make difficult choices and so she does those and in the course of the series what you see is that it brings up all these questions for her about what it is she's actually pursuing Frankie has several challenges on the inside one is you know, to remain in a position of power, uh, to keep her friends close. You know, I can't quite say whether she does well at it or not, um, but there are challenges, uh, challenges that she faces from Ferguson coming in that really throw a spanner in the works. What would Frankie do to stay on top? That's an interesting question, and you may have to watch the second season to find out. Ha, ha, ha.